Nelson Mandela, famous inspirational quotes. Do not judge me by my success, judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. It always seems impossible until it's done. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. One cannot be prepared for something while secretly believing it will not happen. What counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. Resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping it will kill your enemies. For to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come. But I can only rest for a moment, for with freedom come responsibilities, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not ended. There is nothing like returning to a place that remains unchanged to find the ways in which you yourself have altered. Lead from the back and let others believe they are in front. I am not a saint unless you think of a saint as a sinner who keeps on trying. There is no passion to be found playing small in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. As I have said, the first thing is to be honest with yourself. You can never have an impact on society if you have not changed yourself. Everyone can rise above their circumstances and achieve success if they are dedicated to and passionate about what they do. It is said that no one truly knows a nation until one has been inside its jails. I had no epiphany, no singular revelation, no moment of truth, but a steady accumulation of a thousand slights, a thousand indignities and a thousand unremembered moments produced in me an anger, a rebelliousness, a desire to fight the system that imprisoned my people. There was no particular day on which I said, henceforth I will devote myself to the liberation of my people, instead, I simply found myself doing so, and could not do otherwise. Live life as though nobody is watching, and express yourself as though everyone is listening. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. I hate race discrimination most intensely and in all its manifestations. I have fought it all during my life, I fight it now and will do so until the end of my days. There is a universal respect and even admiration for those who are humble and simple by nature and who have absolute confidence in all human beings irrespective of their social status. Sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great, you can be that generation. It is what we make out of what we have, not what we are given, that separates one person from another. We must use time creatively, and forever realize that the time is always ripe to do right. I have never cared very much for personal prizes. A person does not become a freedom fighter in the hope of winning awards. I learned that to humiliate another person is to make him suffer an unnecessarily cruel fate. Even as a boy, I defeated my opponents without dishonoring them. As long as many of our people still live in utter poverty, 
as long as children still live under plastic covers, as long as many of our people are still without jobs, no South African should rest and wallow in the joy of freedom. I never lose. I either win or learn. I like friends who have independent minds because they tend to make you see problems from all angles. Man's goodness is a flame that can be hidden but never extinguished. Although I am a gregarious person, I love solitude even more. Overcoming poverty is not a task of charity, it is an act of justice. Like slavery and apartheid, poverty is not natural. It is man-made and it can be overcome and eradicated by the actions of human beings. It is not our diversity which divides us, it is not our ethnicity or religion or culture that divides us. Since we have achieved our freedom, there can only be one division amongst us, between those who cherish democracy and those who do not. A nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens, but its lowest ones. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Where you stand depends on where you sit. I am the captain of my soul. A leader is like a shepherd. He stays behind the flock, letting the most nimble go out ahead, whereupon the others follow, not realizing that all along they are being directed from behind. After climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. Appearances matter, and remember to smile. Freedom is indivisible, the chains on any one of my people were the chains on all of them, the chains on all of my people were the chains on me. Great peacemakers are all people of integrity, of honesty, but humility. Quitting is leading to There can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way in which it treats its children. Know your enemy and learn about his favorite sport. When the water starts boiling it is foolish to turn off the heat. I love playing and chatting with children, feeding and putting them to bed with a little story, and being away from the family has troubled me throughout my life. I like relaxing at the house, reading quietly, taking in the sweet smell that comes from the pots, sitting around a table with the family and taking out my wife and children. When you can no longer enjoy these simple pleasures something valuable is taken away from your life and you feel it in your daily work. Success in politics demands that you must take your people into confidence about your views and state them very clearly, very politely, very calmly, but nevertheless, state them openly. It is not where you start but how high you aim that matters for success. In judging our progress as individual we tend to concentrate on external factors such as one's social position, influence and popularity, wealth and standard of education. These are, of course, important in measuring one's success in material matters and it is perfectly understandable. If many people exert themselves mainly to achieve all these. 
but internal factors may be even more crucial in assessing one's development as a human being. Honesty, sincerity, simplicity, humility, pure generosity, absence of vanity, readiness to serve others, qualities which are within reach of every soul, are the foundation of one's spiritual life. Keep your friends close and your rivals even closer. Let your greatness blossom. Tread softly, breathe peacefully, laugh hysterically. In some ways, it is easier to be a dissident, for then one is without responsibility. Nothing is black or white. Let there be justice for all. Let there be peace for all. Let there be work, bread, water, and salt for all. Let each know that for each the body, the mind, and the soul have been freed to fulfill themselves. When a man is denied the right to live the life he believes in, he has no choice but to become an outlaw. No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin, or his background, or his religion. People must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love, for love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite.